For those who haven't seen The Mandalorian, there's this scene where Boba Fett whips out his rangefinder. And well, yeah, it looks something like this. Oh, and no, I didn't make the rocket. Well, not yet. So in order to make this build happen, I'm first going to show you my process. So first, I write some boring code. Next, I send the code to the electronics. After, I 3D model some weird shapes. And lastly, I paint. <laughs> so while I distracted you with my horrible drawings, I already finished the code. So now we just got to plug it in, send it over, hit this button, motor moves, lights blink, Hit this button again, and boom. Here's an hour's worth footage of me just 3D modeling. I sped it up so you won't have to see. And now it's done. And now that I finished the ear, all we gotta do is just print it out. No, not like that. I wish it was that easy. Here are all the parts that I printed for the ear. The helmet was already printed before I decided to motorize it. So I have to make a hole for the motor to fit. So I drill a hole. Another hole. And another hole. And then with a soldering iron, I just cut out a little square for the motor to fit. Now all I gotta do is sand the parts of the ear. Next, I just gotta spray the print with primer. Right here I used a dupli color filler primer. I linked all the paints in the description if you guys wanna check them out. Now that that's done, I'm gonna lay it down with a silver base coat. I put toothpaste on the places that I wanted to keep silver. Now I just paint more. After I sprayed down that blue, I had to wipe off the toothpaste and add more in the exact same spots. It wasn't really fun, but it was worth it. I ended up using the same primer for the red part of Boba Fett's helmet. Wiping off the toothpaste was definitely the most difficult part of this process, and it got everywhere, but it was worth it. Like I said before, all the paints are going to be in the description below. Now all I gotta do is just add more toothpaste, keep painting, and repeating that process. Now for the easiest part of this build, 
I'm just gonna assemble all the electronics that I had built before, but condense it into the rangefinder. And yeah, that's what it looks like. The servo should fit tightly. And now we just glue everything on and put it together. Now I have to just organize the wires, figure out where everything's gonna go. And once that's finished, I'm gonna put padding 